we saw at the start was on the one hand that refugees had a very hard time to connecting to to the outside world so they they didn't know who to talk to when uh, to to find friends to, to build their first network um, and on the other hand there were a lot of especially companies who also wanted to help say a cinema donating tickets or a small fashion store donating winter jackets we saw that we needed to bring the two sides together somehow. So the offers we're looking for at Jaime um, are, are any kind, any kind of offer actually that can bring people uh, together, where we can create moments of integration. And our first focus was uh, cultural events, and that includes cinemas, theaters, concerts, sports events. But now we also started having cafes, restaurant, uh, restaurants, because we also see that. You know, if you have a, a beer or a coffee together you, and, and you meet people, that's also doing what we, we want to have. So it's not really about having a high culture and, and sort of educating people in, in German uh, culture, but, but anything really where we can bring people together. And if you look at um, especially the, the, the 20 to 30 year old uh, guys, I mean, they all love sports, they love football, that's what they ask, ask us about. So. Uh, not so many pr surprises there. Um, but maybe another thing is that there is a, a big interest from many people actually in getting in touch with German culture, theater plays, German movies and all that, where I would, would have thought that, all right, they want the Captain America, they want the big movies and that, that, that's cool. But actually many people are asking us specifically, where can I see German movies? Because, you know, that teaches me the language and maybe culture. At first, of course, it helps to get your life started if people give you things for free because, you know, you have, you have nothing. But after a while, you, you want to be uh, seen as on, on one level. So you're used to giving something back for the things you receive and you don't want to feel um, patronized in a way by people just deciding that you're now in that category that needs or people that who need things and for that reason you get getting it for free um, so I think it's a very important part for us to, to make that uh, step to actually having people maybe in the form of paying a euro for a ticket but if they can't maybe to give something else back maybe to have a system which we thought about already um, of trading a ticket for something you do something you where you help another maybe help for 10 minutes uh, uh, translate a, a voucher on Jaime. By getting people who usually wouldn't have any activity to do, uh, except for maybe staying in the camps and not knowing what to do, uh, we already have a first impact because now they go to uh, a sports event, cinema, theater. Uh, if you look at art workshops or uh, some German theater play, then they also get you know, the cultural uh, input or experience. So this year we opened our, or we enlarged our target group to also include teenagers and children from low income background. Uh, we did that because from the start, our mission or our, our idea was to be uh, a place or a platform that makes integration easier. And integration doesn't stop with refugees. It was sort of the, the trigger for us, but there are a lot of other people in society that are not well integrated because they can't afford to take part in public life. Mm -hmm.